I'm Tom Nickel, the Lead Technical Marketing Engineer at Winova. Zen Client by Citrix is making great strides as a powerful, secure client hypervisor, and as Citrix adds support for additional PC models, we can expect to see much more of it in the future. But what happens when you have PCs in use by your employees that are capable of running Zen Client, but Zen Client was not pre-installed? You see, Zen Client requires you to format a device before you can install Zen Client onto it. So the challenge becomes, how can IT save all of a user's files, applications, and personalizations in such a way that allows them to migrate these compatible devices to Zen Client without affecting their user's data, and without resulting in days or weeks of user downtime? Also, how do you uniformly manage both Zen Client and non-Zen Client PCs and provide centralized single image management, backup and recovery of the entire PC image, and integrated break-fix capabilities? Let's see how Mirage can address these challenges. We're here on a normal end user's laptop right now, which just happens to be Zen Client compatible. Let's click through it a little bit just to see what's on this device. We've got a populated My Documents and My Pictures folder, and here you can see Microsoft Office 2007 is installed, and that we can open up a few of this user's documents. All in all, a pretty standard, personalized end user device. Our goal is to take this Zen Client compatible device that our end user is already using, save all of their user files, applications, and personalizations, install a brand new copy of Zen Client over it, and then migrate back all of this user's data. Let's see how it works. IT installed the 2 megabyte Mirage client on the laptop we just showed you, and now IT has logged into the Mirage management console. Using the Mirage backup and recovery tools, we'll be able to upload a virtual copy of this entire laptop to the data center, complete with end-user personalizations, files, and applications. Once this backup is complete, IT can install Zen Client on this laptop and then restore all of the end-user data we just backed up. And our end-user can be up and running with their new Zen Client laptop in a matter of hours without losing one iota of their data. The first step in this process is to centralize this user's current laptop to our data center, which, as you can see, only took a few clicks in the Mirage Management Console. Once my end user's laptop finished backing up to the data center, I was able to wipe it clean and install a fresh copy of Zen Client, and then start up a blank Windows 7 VM on it, as you can see here. This Windows 7 VM literally has nothing installed on it except for Zen Tools and the Mirage Client. In addition to migrating this user, IT is also going to take advantage of this migration to upgrade the user from Office 2007 to Office 2010 using the built-in Mirage image management tools. With just another few clicks in the Mirage management console, we're going to take the backup we saved to our data center earlier and deliver it to our new Zen Client Windows 7 VM. Let's do that now. First, we'll assign that user's backup to our new Zen Client device and we'll also assign a new base image to the Zen Client device which, as we said, will upgrade this user from Office 2007 to Office 2010. And once the user backup and base image have been applied to this new Zen Client device, our end user will be back up and running completely. But by now you're probably thinking, this is great, but isn't this taking up a lot of storage and bandwidth to accomplish for just one device? And that's actually one of the premier features of the one over Mirage software. We leverage patented storage and network optimizations that allow us to do two key things here. First, when user data is backed up to the data center, we only save data once, meaning that after a backup with Windows 7 is uploaded to the data center, that is the last time Windows 7 will ever be stored. We'll use a global manifest to track who has what to ensure things only get stored once, and we do this at the file and chunk level. Secondly, any time we send data over the network, we'll analyze the source and destination for changes and only send the delta. In this case, we'll compare our Windows 7 Zen Client VM to the Windows 7 backup in our data center and realize that none of the Windows 7 data actually needs to be transmitted. A combination of these storage and network optimizations will help keep your costs significantly down. Our Zen Client VM has finished downloading the end user backup, and we've just logged in for the first time. Right away, you can see that the desktop wallpaper has appeared, and my desktop icons are all there. They're a little cluttered, so let me clean them up a bit. Let's explore a little bit just to make sure everything that should be here got transferred over. First, let's make sure all of my user files are here. 
Documents are here. Good. And my pictures are still here too. Perfect. Now let's make sure that the Office 2010 upgrade was a success by opening some of my user files here on the desktop. Perfect. Everything has been migrated down seamlessly and easily and with only a few clicks in the Mirage Management Console by my IT administrator. And now that this process is complete, you can leverage the power of Mirage with all of your Zen client and non-Zen client machines. Before we conclude this video, you may recall me talking about our storage and network optimizations. These are the transaction logs for the network operations we just performed to complete our Zen client migration. You can see here that each of them leveraged significant bandwidth savings. And when you're talking about remote sites, these savings can be tremendously valuable for your end user's productivity. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. And from all of us here at Winova, we'll look forward to assisting you with your Zen client migrations in the near future.